How are cashews harvested and processed? Cashew harvesting can take place about two months, after the fruit has set when the apple takes on a pink or red cast and the nut turns gray. Alternatively, you can wait until the fruit falls to the ground when you know it's ripe. After harvesting, twist the nuts off of the apples by hand. Why are cashews so expensive? The cashew seed is surrounded by a shell containing toxic oils, such as anacardic acid. This is the same acid found in poison ivy. After the toxins are removed, the cashews must be grated and sorted. The entire process is labor-intensive as well as hazardous, which helps explain part of why cashews are so expensive. How do you make cashew nuts? Take a cashew fruit in your hand. You can remove the seed nut first then cut off the top part of the fruit where the seed was attached to. Keep aside the raw green seed nut for the roasting process and cut your edible part of the fruit into bite-sized pieces. You can indulge it already at this point. How do you make 8 Steps in Processing of Raw Cashew Nuts The 8 commonly adopted steps in raw cashew nut processing are Drying of RCN Pre-treatment of RCN Deshelling Peeling Grating of the kernels Roasting and mixing with flavor Meta detecting Packaging the kernels for storage and shipment These steps are illustrated below Drying of RCN Drying is the first processing step after procuring raw cashew nuts. The raw cashew nuts are dried to reduce the moisture content to a maximum of 10% ideal for warehousing. This moisture content slows down or completely prevents deterioration of the raw cashew nuts during storage. Drying is done either on a clean concrete floor or on tarpaulin spread on a flat surface. Modern drying methods involve the use of drying machines that run on electricity. Well-dried nuts are bagged in jute sack for warehousing and used throughout the year. Pre-treatment of RCN. Pre-treatment covers all processes before shelling. It involves three steps, calibration, warehousing, and heat treatment of the dried nuts. A. Calibration of nuts. Calibration is the process of grouping the nuts into various sizes according to the diameter of raw cashew nuts. Commonly used sizes are 14 mm, 16 mm, 18 mm, 20 mm, 22 mm, 24 mm. The nuts are first calibrated and then stored in jute sacks according to size. The calibration of nuts is especially important with mechanized shelling machines for the accurate adjustment of cutting blades. The processing of same-sized nuts during the shelling process reduces breakage and facilitates the grating of kernels. B. Warehousing. This is storing the procured raw cashew nuts for processing throughout the year. Upas must secure their raw cashew nuts during the cashew season which lasts 3 to 4 months every year. Proper warehousing prevents damage to the nuts by insect pests and pathogenic organisms. It maintains the quality of the nuts throughout the year. The dried, calibrated nuts are packaged in jute bags with a standard net weight of 80 kg per bag and arranged in stacks on pallets to avoid contact with the floor and thus prevent the dry cashew nuts from absorbing moisture. The stacks are placed in at least 50 cm distance to the walls and with 1-2 to two meters space between the roof of the warehouse and the top of stacks to avoid excessive heating and scorching of the raw cashew nuts. Properly arranged stacks enable visible counting of the bags, which facilitates control of the stock throughout the year. The warehouse should be well ventilated to minimize humidity and be equipped with fire extinguishers. C. Heat treatment of RCN. Heat treatment eases the separation of the kernel from the shell. There are three methods of heat treatment, steaming, drum roasting, and oil bath roasting. Ubus uses the method of steaming. Steaming is the dominant method for heat treatment of raw cashew nuts. The steaming of raw cashew nuts is done in a boiler to make shells brittle and easy to cut. Once the steaming process is complete, the nuts are spread evenly on a clean surface to facilitate complete cooling, which is referred to as air drying. The process of steaming concentrates the CNSL into a jelly-like fluid to reduce the corrosive effect of CNSL on workers' hands during manual shelling. Peeling Peeling is the process of removing the testa from the kernel. Upas's factory uses peeling machines combined with manual peeling. Peeling machines use friction and air pressure to remove the testa from the kernel. However, mechanized peeling does not remove all testa from the kernels. Thus, mechanized peeling is often combined with manual peeling to fully remove the testa. The success of mechanized peelers largely depends on the inherent peel ability of the kernels and the efficiency of the thermal shock treatment. In a fully manual peeling method, small knives are used to remove the testa. 
mechanized peeling results in a higher percentage of broken kernels than manual peeling.